Hi there, it's Martinez here from MyLifestyleDream.com. Um, today we're going to give a, uh, a review of SE Cockpit, which is a handy keyword research tool and um, tool for SEO professionals, which helps you to find and analyze keywords for your website and for your articles. So um, to start with, um, if you want to go to SECockpit.com, and from there, uh, you can sign up to, um, um, I've signed up to a 330-day money-back um, account, um, which is a good offer for you to uh, to trial the software. Click on there and log in. So what I'm going to do today is just take you through some of the simple steps to do some uh, keyword analysis using this tool. So it brings you onto your dashboard, and you can start by simply clicking on the button to do a simple keyword search. So let's take the example, um, let's use our seed keywords to be something like uh, source pins. So just a basic example here. You can put a website in as well. I've got the language of UK and the United Kingdom. If I click on the Google AdWords synonyms, um, I've got a few more options here. Um, if I click on the checkbox here, I only get closely related terms to my uh, to my seed keyword phrase, which um, generally I like to check to start with so that I don't get a massive list um, coming back. But sometimes it's good to keep that unchecked just so that you've got a wider range of keywords that come back as well. You can also include certain terms with uh, the keywords that come back, such as um, best or reviews or things like that. And on the other side, on the flip side, you can exclude terms that you don't want to uh, to bring back as well. Um, and then on top of that, you've got your minimum monthly local searches. So I'm going to put that on to something like 250. And then you can tag your results in different colors if you like, but uh, I've never really used that feature. So let's click on save and close. Um, what you'll find is you will get a, let me just expand the view slightly here, all of your um, results will be shown on this in new interface now. So there's 12 results that I've got. Um, so let me take you by, take you through all of these different columns. There's lots of different columns which you can switch on or off. I'll take you through the, the key ones today. Um, niche is something we'll come back to in a little bit. Um, phrase is obviously your keyword phrase here. That's the, the key icon is your seed keyword. And then it's got a list of all the other keywords that it thinks are relevant. You've got your monthly searches here. You've got a rank. So this column is particularly useful. So this is um, a rank which SE Cockpit has given based on a certain number of metrics, which we'll uh, look at on the following screen. Um, of how easy it is for you to rank in the top 10 of that uh, for that specific keyword. So you want this uh, this bar here to be as low as possible and the monthly searches obviously to be as high as possible. So um, I think what the niche value here does is it divides in the monthly number yes number of monthly searches by the competition value here. So the niche value, you want this green bar here to be as, as big as possible. And that's just a quick indicator, really, of whether that keyword is really worth you chasing after, whether it's worth you writing articles for, or whether it's worth you looking as a sort of core keyword for your niche website. Um, I have found, though, that for some of the keywords, uh, it will bring back a high niche rating. Um, but that's because the monthly searches for popular keywords are going to be really high um, and the competition is high. So, um, you know, it will bring back a high niche rating, even though it's going to be impossible for you ever to um, to, to rank, um, get your site on one of the first pages for those keywords. OK, on to some more of the um, um uh, columns here so we've got the domain checker pretty standard whether that domain is available for uh, for that keyword so indexion sourcepins.com or .net and you've got some useful information from adwords uh, which you can get obviously from the google keyword planner as well you've got the cost per click so what the advertisers are bidding for for that keyword you've got the um, advertiser competition so how many advertisers uh, or how competitive it is for advertisers to bid for that keyword and then um, se cockpit also put in adsense rating here so um, 
and this is basically how uh, uh, you want the bar to be as full as possible here so this is how competitive that keyword is to switch on there's a load of other metrics which are um, hidden here as well which you can switch on and off um, a couple of new ones that have come in are the AdWords um, top bottom all right so if I switch those on here you will see how many ads they have in those different segments so that really helps you to show how competitive that keyword is as well amongst um, advertisers um, you know it's just another metric to help you make your um, your decision um, and then to the right we have another useful uh, set of measures here which are the um, the top 10 sites so whether there's an exact match domain so that really help you see if that's a uh, a niche site or not and then these items here show whether any of the results sorry any of the top 10 results for that keyword are an Amazon result an eBay result um, this is I believe an easy easy report uh, result we've got uh, HubSpot uh, whether any of them are squidoo um, and then I think the last one is let me just expand this if there's any YouTube so within those results it would show up in this column here okay so it's quite a nice uh, interface there so let's say you want to interrogate one of these keywords a little bit further let's click on the keyword itself saucepans and then this is a really nice screen as well so this helps to um, will help you determine whether it's worth um, using this keyword or not so I, th I think the SE cockpit uses a, a combination of these metrics to give it your, its competition score on the previous page but let's go through these so it's got the top 10 ranking so if I went to Google and typed saucepans I'm pretty sure you'll see Lakeland Amazon Direct by Asda. So I imagine they are going to be Lakeland Amazon, Amazon Direct. Yeah. So it's exactly the top 10 uh, results that you'll see on, on Google. And then here you've got really useful uh, metrics as well. So you've got the Moz, the Moz ranking, you've got the page authority, the domain authority, the number of juice links, the number of um, root domain backlinks. The total number of backlinks, the internal links for that URL, the number of Facebook likes, and the number of Facebook shares. So all of these are really, really key metrics for um, helping you understand whether any of those sites on this top 10 you could potentially knock off and replace with your site if you um, paid a lot, of, put a lot of attention onto SEO. Now, what I like they've done here as well, they've obviously color coded it for you um, to see quickly. Green ones, obviously. Um, are good and potential ones for you to knock off um, amber not so good and red are going to be pretty difficult so on this uh, example for saucepans you know it's going to be pretty hard most of these seem like e-commerce sites that for big brands really large uh, uh, dom sites with domain high domain authority you're not going to rank a little niche site very well on, on this page so I'll probably forget about trying saucepans as one of my um, keywords there. A little bit further down you can show you've got the web sends web search trends from Google Trends which show the popularity of that keyword over time. It's just a useful little add on there. Um, and that, that that's it really it just repeats this sort of some of these metrics here. So if we go back to the original screen there's a couple of other um, uh, a couple of other features that I'd like to uh, I'd like to show first of all um, just bear with me one second so if I go back to this page okay so we have the calculator function here now this is really neat I haven't seen this anywhere else uh, in any other keyword tool at the moment so this basically helps you based on the numbers that are coming back here so number of searches the click through you'll get uh, depending on the position that you're trying to rank for it will give you an indication of the number of visitors that you're going to get and from there you can infer um, what your sales are going to be like so if you're if you're selling a product on a site or any affiliates 
you can work you can calculate your percentage through this calculator here and with AdSense as well so it takes the cost per click you get 60 percent of that um, um, uh, of that revenue um, let's say five percent of your ads people click five percent of your visitors click through on one of your ads it's quite high you get 34 in this example you get 34 click throughs a month which equates to 43 pounds a month revenue so not masses but to be honest if you get um, a, a number of those as long tail keywords coming through for your site then they all add up to something fairly substantial but overall I you know this conversion calculator is a really neat tool for you uh, to, to to make sure that the numbers stack up what else have we got so we've got tag you can ta obviously tag the different uh, keywords so you can easily recognize them never really use that you've got an export function so you can um, export a CSV or uh, XML so I click on that it gives me a CSV file let's just open that one up and it gives you all of the um, different values that you looked at so you can filter and manipulate those um, as you like it's quite handy and then we've got another neat feature here which is the expand feature so you want to expand your keyword from source bins. let's say for example you want to just have something with the word best in there and you want to reduce this down to 250 so you're changing your keyword search let's save that off and close it and what you'll find is this search will um, gradually load all of the new um, keywords that it's found with those uh, with, with those criteria so there's 27 found now and you scroll down and you'll see they're all added to the bottom of the list best pots and pans and things and you can interrogate all of those different uh, um, different keywords uh, through that through that set there okay so overall I think it's um, you know it's a great little tool for for helping you get into uh, your keyword analysis um, really helping you um, understand whether a keyword is competitive or not or whether you will be able to rank well for that keyword it takes a lot of the um, manual labor away uh, from doing this through Google, um, Google uh, keyword planner or um, other tools um, uh, it, overall it's a great great tool I believe for any um, SEO professional or someone using uh, keyword analysis a lot with their business um, cost for this I believe it's about $40 a month uh, yeah, $40 a month for the basic version which gives you 10 keyword searches a day or $80 a month for the, the pro version um, I really like it um, I recommend you um, give it a go uh, use your 30-day trial um, try that and, and uh, you know Tell, tell me how your experiences were as well. So I think that's it for today. Um, thanks very much. It's Martino here at mylifestyledream.com. Head on over to My Lifestyle Dream and um, we'll look at some tips about um, how you can make money online and look at ways to change your lifestyle to, to make it uh, a suitable lifestyle that you're looking after. Okay, guys, thanks very much. Cheers.